Hello guys, today we're going to try this new game uh, released on Steam, it's called Gems of War and it's very similar to Puzzle Quest and that type of games where you have to match some gems together but this one has more of a quest feel and you're also going to be able to battle other players like invade their territory and so on um, so as you can see it's, it's a normal uh, puzzle quest game where you have to match three or more gems together but in this case you're gonna get your hero card and he has some stats like attack, a shield and then health and um, you will also have a mana type which is associated with the uh, weapon he has so you're going to be able to uh, actually max the mana to then use the special attack on the weapon or you can just deal damage to the, the opponent by matching the uh, skulls A new so weapon. we got this new weapon, it's a crude glove um, and we'll be able to equip it and it on a fight so you see the red mana symbol uh, it's related to the weapon we have so now when we when we match the red orbs it will fill the mana gouge and when it gets to the max you can use the, the weapon attack to deal damage directly so we have to finish beating See, you have six mana symbols. Uh, you're also going to build a team of other uh, creatures that you find on your adventure. They will have their specific mana types as well. And when you max their mana, you will be able to cast different abilities uh, depending on the creature that you're using. So now he also has blue mana and is trying to max it in order to use his special attack that we actually beat him first so we didn't even get to use it. At the end of each fight you get a reward. See we got this last knight and now we can use his troop until Choose a portrait and uh, gender. So, a lot of options, but they don't actually influence the gameplay in any way. So, <coughs> then you get your hometown, and here you're going to get kingdom. In the kingdom, you see the mana bonus you get and the uh, coins you get each day. So, we can go to a quest. And we're going to start another battle. So the the quests are normally two battles. Uh, it can get a little repetitive, you know. It's always the um, always the same kind of battle. But if you used to play puzzle quest, you know, <coughs> you know, how addicting it can be. It can be how addictive it can be, even if it's just this uh, gem matching game. Over and over. At the end of the fight, when you level up, 
you can choose which mastery you want, and it gives you a chance for extra magic gems. A new weapon. We got a new weapon from the fight. Uh, this one deals to the crew club deals two damage to the first enemy, so that the, the topmost guy on the opponent list. This one deals three damage to the first enemy and one damage to the second guy, so it's better. And you can see the mana type on the top, so this one is red, this one is gray. So we're gonna use that hammer instead and go to the second fight. So now we're looking to match blue and uh, brownish uh, mana. So he gave me a little tip here to match four gems and an extra turn. Which is, you should always try to get those even if they serve any purpose. It's always better to have two moves. the middle one, you will distribute uh, two damage on the other two, so slightly better. <coughs> so we're level four, we're gonna go ahead and do another quest. <coughs> Sorry for that, I have kind of a nasty cold. <coughs> So we're gonna use our third ally, quick recruit, and use this green mana. It's always nice to have a combination of different mana colors because you only fill the topmost uh, guy with that type of mana. So if you have two guys with green mana, you're just gonna fill one of them and then the other one. So it's nice to have four different characters with four different mana types, you know. So if by accident you match more than the gems that you wanted, you will use that to fill other gauges. These first quests are really really easy, so we have some much more challenging ones. Mana 
surge. Sometimes it will get an accidental run surge. So I'm gonna use my giant's mace to deal three damage directly. So the first guy that has green, it was the goblin, he got uh, the mana and not uh, the dogs. to new kingdoms, for example, Diana. It's close to market, so I'm
the Joust skill, which this glass guy has, not that good, it just gives him some extra shield. So, not too good to play. Oh, if you saw that key icon appear, it means that we got a brand new key in this map, which we will use later on to unlock a cool reward. You can buy those keys, I think there are a thousand coins each, but you can also get them randomly every once in a while. So here we go! You just choose the guy you want to hit.
just receive the key, click this button to see what it opens. So we go down here to our chests and we drag our iron key to the chest. It will give us three cards. Rare. Rare. It's enough. Zero shield, but six health and two attack. And she has an entangled skin. We get a common one, it's a golem. To attack, to shield, four health, and slam. Exploded gem, reduce all enemy armor by one for each brown gem. Dis destroy. Not that good. And another common one, which is a central scout to attack, one shield, four health. Destroy a row and deal two damage to the first enemy. It's actually a cool skill. I actually got an ultra rare, which is a blue card, uh, when I was playing with another account. So, not very lucky this time. So guys, this is basically it. Um, afterwards, you can also go down here and press invade, and you'll find basically another opponent, which is this guy, G uh, J Gamer HD Pro. So we will fight him, battle this hero to win gold or try another hero for a small price. So you can pay 10 to try another hero or you can just fight the one you got. I'm gonna remove these dogs and remove this knife instead. And I'm gonna get rid of the last knight. different um, different bonuses when you choose a specific banner so you have the affiliations down here and you choose the disguise accordingly so Dana troops, broken spire. I don't think I have. Uh, Try to. So broken spire are red mana troops, I think, and Adana are this with this brown one. <laughs> to train the troops as well and they get some extra stats. Uh, my nymph got one extra health. So he has his own, his own set of troops as well, so we have to defeat all those four characters.
so calls. Mana Surge.